Hello friends and people who come to my channel just to dislike the videos and then run away. I've just been sent a new video about the uh, alt right Dogs trailer by Carl Yushanka and people keep asking me to watch it or to react to it so I figured I would set up a camera um, because apparently how I feel about this trailer is going to be important. I don't know why, but let's, let's find out, shall we? I'm using my laptop because for unknown reasons my iMac hasn't been working particularly well lately. So, uh... Yeah, anyway. That was a practical failure. Doesn't somebody want to be This is the opening of uh Reservoir Dogs, isn't it? Yeah. Love grows very much oh, all right dogs. I get it. Very super sound Wait, why would the alt right want to reference fucking Tarantino? He does not have views that are agreeable to you. I have nothing against white nationalism. I, 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 oh no, Colonel Hans Lander disliked my videos. And Hans Lander's such a moral upstanding character whose opinion is worthy of respect. Where are you at? Is that is that Matt Forney? Man, that guy's out of shape. He looks really upset. Is he being filmed surreptitiously? Is this made by someone who's not a fan of these people? The original film had like cool slow motion close ups, and these are just stills from a video. Is, is Johan the character or the actor playing him? What? Who? You know, there were more Reservoir Dogs, so this was a more interesting thing to what? Davis? What? Why does he get a real picture? What? What? But there was four of them, right? Wasn't it? Davis is. Oh, fuck! There's five of them, but no one else was around to hold the camera! It's just... <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, so Davis isn't in this shot, which means that he's the cameraman for this bit. So why is there a black border on the left? What? What? D Davis, hold the camera steady! You're supposed to be a real director! No! God damn it! Why couldn't the alright dogs find a tripod or a friend to fucking hold the camera for them? God, it's they're not even in the center of the frame. <laughs> what? Look, Davis. Look. Get in touch with me, Davis, and I will send you this tripod. It's not very good, but it means that all five of you will be in the frame. This <laughs> is fucking so... I'm gonna watch it again. So what is this a trailer for? Are they making... Are they making a Reservoir Dogs? Did they just want to broadcast how badass they are to the world? Because it totally worked. I can't believe that there are five alt-right dogs and, like, they didn't have any friends who would hold the camera for them. You know, the actual Reservoir Dogs trailer had footage of them, like, doing stuff. Uh, they weren't just, like, taking the crosswalk outside McDonald's. They were, like, doing stuff from the film to try and sell you on it. This is just... This is just piss. Oh, here it comes. I feel that if they had slightly more budget, at that point they would cut to Matt Forney shot and bleeding to death in the back of Davis' car that he bought with the Sarkeesian effect money. Why is the footage misaligned like that? You would have to do that on purpose! Like, what?! <laughs> D Davis Arini, the cameraman for this footage, thinks he's a filmmaker. He's very sure he's a real filmmaker. Slow motion shaky cam is just the most, it's just the most rational thing, you know? I mean, all in all, it's not the worst trailer Davis has been involved with, but it's pretty up there. By the way, who is Carl Yushanka? I want to see what Yushanka US is. I I'm actually kind of interested now. Don't, no, I just, I just want to go to Yushanka.us. Please just take me to, I don't want to set up parental controls. All right, blog.yushanka.us is... Hold on a sec. This is the guy who makes the Yushankas that Davis has been selling on his fucking blog for years. Holy shit. What? 
the collusion is real. Advertise my hats on your blog, Davis, and I'll give you a part in Alt-Right Dogs, the trailer. I'm willing to bet that if I checked, one of the other guys would be the guy behind the testosterone cream and the other shit that he advertises on his blog. Let's see what he's selling right now. Support my Patreon. Buy my Fallout fanfiction. Please watch Lust in the Time of Heartache. My full-length documentary on Gamergate, social justice, Marxists, narcissism, and Anita Sarkeesian. He's a professional on one of those topics. And of course, Kyle Yushanka's glorious hat. It's stylish, it's warm, it drives liberals nuts. Well, I, I guess I am nuts, but not because of your hat. I think the hat is really funny, and you should wear it constantly. Confessions of an Online Hustler by Matt Forney. He's just using his blog to sell, like, the shit of his four other friends. Bachelor Pad Economics by Aaron! Who'd have thought? <laughs> oh, he's also trying to sell, um, Rouge V's latest book, but Rouge, I guess, couldn't make the time to appear in his really badass film trailer. Is PayPal joining Google and Twitter in the censorship war? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna read this. Okay, um, Davis has had minor trouble with how PayPal works, um, which is understandable. That happens to literally everyone. It's happened to me. But he appears to think that it means they've taken a side in an internet censorship war? I mean, okay. Also, he feels the need to specifically point out that the person he was talking to on the phone was a girl, as if, like, you needed to know that. I wonder why. The girl, and you know what they're like, claimed that their investigations aren't motivated by the same sort of political bias that Google, Facebook, and Twitter are exhibiting. What did you call her on the phone and say, Are you like Twitter? Are you out to get me? Matt Forney, whose book is literally right next to this fucking post, suspects, and I agree, that this might be the first step in kicking me off their platform. Oh wow, he actually does think PayPal is out to get him. The fact that all these companies are resorting to such tactics is good news for our side. Yeah, it's good that you're getting kicked off of all these platforms, apparently. It means they're running scared, and it means that they consider me dangerous. <laughs> I've got some weird PayPal issues as well, and a lot of people do because PayPal is actually not very good. That doesn't mean PayPal is scared of you. It just means it's a bit crap. There's nothing that makes me happier than being hated by the unrighteous. <laughs> Nobody hates you, Davis. I think you're amazing. <laughs> Only time will tell what PayPal's actually up to. Cue the, cue the X-Files theme. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Unlike some people I could mention, I have avenues available to... I have avenues available to me outside of YouTube Benjamins and the public dole. And by this time next year, I hope to be a contributor to the various alt-right voices whom I enjoy. Assuming that they're still able to receive PayPal, of course. I still haven't figured out how to Bitcoin! <laughs> Of course, you're more than free to include your questions, prayer requests, or ideas for videos when you donate. Prayer requests? Wait. Is he... Oh, was that a joke? Or can I get Davis to pray for me? Because I need that. I need that right now. Davis, if you managed to watch this far, and I know you're rational, so you did, um, I will send you a tripod in exchange for footage of you praying for my soul. Please do this. Please. He links to uh, an article called, in the text bar at the top, Egoistic Self-Destruction Thunderfoot Sargon Akkad. So he's very angry about certain other reasonable people. <laughs> Over the past summer, first Thunderfoot, Phil Tinas Mason, and then Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin, self-immolated through acts of e-fame-driven hubris. Mason revealed himself as the big government anti-Brexit globalist who wants your tax dollars to pay for his hobby, while Benjamin repeatedly invaded alt-right spaces only to dominate the conversation with first-year communist rhetoric. The best thing about the alt-right is that if you just wait long enough, they'll fall out with each other and then come tell you why they're shit. You don't even have to criticize them, they'll do it themselves when they realize that they hate each other. I have to admit it was rather gratifying. Last year the two of them went on a slanderous attack campaign against- hold on a sec. 
Last year, the two of them went on a slanderous attack campaign against me, misquoting and outright lying. They had no regard for the morality of their actions, nor the real politic consequences of attacking a Gamergate ally. Gamergate is still important in 2016, guys. Please, please believe me. Thunderfoot, the establishment skeptic. He's obs he'll obsessively pick apart anything that doesn't matter in your day-to-day -day life. Evolution, hoverboards, and solar roadways, while ignoring existential threats that demand a skeptical eye. Global warming, yep. James Watson and over-vaccination. <laughs> Sargon of Akkad, aka Marxist of Boobus. <laughs> I've expressed my disappointment with Gamergate in the past, how it went from being a stalwart defense in the culture war, to being about ethics in games journalism, to being nothing more than about another equality movement, nothing but a bunch of castrated jackals who thought themselves clever. These are the people who were giving you money, Davis. Y y you really shouldn't piss off these people. I like that he go he he complains that it went from a defense in the culture war to being about ethics in game journalism. Like, wasn't it supposed to have always been about ethics? Aren't you kind of showing your hand here that it was just an alt-right dog whistle the whole time? Oops. The people who matter know who and what Phil and Carl actually are, so there's no need for me to waste any more time on them beyond this short blog post. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm not going to waste my time on them, but let me continue briefly. I poured my heart and soul into that movie. You know what, here's the thing, is if I had ever watched any of her fucking videos, I could have come up with a far tighter argument. If things had turned out differently, it really could have had an impact. Yeah, if the film had been good and contained facts, it would have made a huge difference. Don't get me wrong, immersed in subversion is something I'm genuinely proud of. <laughs> well, that's your first mistake. It's not just a good film in spite of the circumstances, it's a bloody good film, period. The problem with it isn't the film itself, it's the fact that it's on YouTube. As Marshall McLuhan said, the medium is the message. And no matter how good the film is, it's nothing but a YouTube movie, as far as most people are concerned. The whole point of filming it was to get it onto Netflix. Without that appearance of endorsement by the assumed experts at Netflix, it's about as useful as a sports car at the bottom of the ocean. What? Mate, I appreciate the reference. I'm a McLuhanist myself. There's a copy of The Mechanical Bride in that box of books over there somewhere. But let's be honest here. Your film isn't bad because it's not on Netflix. It's bad because it's fucking terrible. Everything's weirdly reframed because you accidentally had Jordan Owen in most of the shots and then you had a massive falling out with him so you had to edit him out. Like, it's all complete weird decisions that make your point harder to get across like it's it's exactly the sort of thing you would expect from the man who made the alt-right dogs trailer if you think the people who run netflix aren't good at their jobs why do you want it on netflix why would you want to associate with them i would just declare that netflix were running from me because they were afraid of the truth you know like paypal apparently are because you don't know what their rules are and with that in mind, let's finish this piece by considering the crucial flaw which brought these men low, so that we ourselves do not repeat it. Their sin was ego. In the analysis I linked above, they delineate the three main strategies that are used against us. Containment, dilution, and poisoning. And ego. Th those aren't... Th that's, not th that's not three things, Davis. Because this is the internet, and half of you are autistic, did you get that statistic from the place you get the rest of your facts? I'm going to lay out where I stand and why these are issues. Global warming, even if it is actually occurring, the solutions being offered won't do anything to combat it. They're nothing more than Trojan horses for globalist control. If you've recently come to a conclusion that I reached years ago, maybe you ought to be listening to the crazy things I'm saying today. Just saying. Well, guess what, Davis? I thought Sargon of a Cab was a bit weird when you were friends with him years ago. So maybe you should be listening to what I'm saying today. And I say maybe you should reconsider that global warming is a secret plot to take over the world. <laughs> maybe. I've got to stop for now. I'm absolutely busting for a piss. But until next time, your documentary doesn't contain facts until it's on Netflix. A lady. These are absolutely covered in dust. <laughs> There's no credits in this video. I'm saving them for a thing that I'm doing later this month. Just, just trust me. All right, it's, it's gonna be great.
That Yushanka actually looks kind of crap. I know where you could get some better Yushankas, but you probably wouldn't think much of that place.